The capstone courses at Grantham University give students an opportunity to demonstrate that they have achieved the goals for learning established by the university. The course fosters the application of learning among university core curriculum and helps cultivate critical skills to support the student's career path. We hope you enjoy the following student works. Hello, my name is Victor Alvarez and my student number is G0007577 I'm an electronic engineering student for Grantham University and this is my capstone project which I named Move On. It consists of a simple device that is basically a pick and place tool that can uh, remove very small parts from printed circuit boards um, very delicately and very efficiently. Uh, basically, it's operated by a couple of motors and a vacuum system uh, which are controlled with an electronic circuit and a motor controller device. Okay, so let me explain to you basically how the circuit works and uh, in this case over here we have the power supply which is uh, a 12 to 48 volts power supply that fits voltage to the controller. It's an, uh, this is an STR2 which takes 12 or 48 volts from uh, applied motor products is one of the basic uh, system they have and this one can control only one motor at the time so um, I found the need to since I have two motors on the system I found how to use a switch to change from motor one to motor two which basically each of them one controls the X and the Y axis so we have over here on the back, this is the uh, frequency generator controller. It's basically a couple of ICs. In this case, we use the 555 and the 4046 I6 connected with the uh, few resistor side capacitors, which by the, mo the change on a one mega potentiometer uh, by, by variation of the value of the potentiometer you can increase or decrease how much frequency comes out of the circuit into the motor controller and that lets you regulate the speed of the motors uh, at the very smooth path which these step motors will move as fast as you can but they also will move very steady. It will be a very smooth motion, clockwise or counterclockwise, which is also controlled through the motor controller. In the device over here, we also have two switches, which will control which way you want to rotate your motors. You got switch S1 and switch S2. They basically control the motor rotation. So uh, once you select your motor to be working, you have a motor that controls the X and Y. So um, we don't have the final gears. We need a rack and pinion to make the mechanical part move completely automatically. So I ordered the part, they're coming from China, they didn't get here on time, so unfortunately I had to run like this due to lack of time. Um, one controller which is 
the left and right motor over here, we control how the arm moves from left to right. And the other motor, which is on this side, will control how the arm moves up or down. So I'm going to give you a small demonstration how the motors are running. I got all my system up and I'm going to press the left and right motor switches. You can see how slow the motor is moving one way. So this will make the system go left and then we want to go the other way. We want to press the other button and then you go. So you have left movement, that's your left movement, this is your right movement. Okay, now if we press the switch over here, we can send the signal to the different motor still using the same original signal from the frequency generator to the motor controller to the motor. So I'm going to switch this button and then we're going to see how the up and down buttons made the arm move. That's going up and this will be going down. Again going up and going down. At the bottom of the arm this is where we select uh, located the special air nozzle that is connected to an air suction tube which will be the way of picking up any device necessary. You can see here on the right side of the table how many small parts you can probably pick up with this device. This device needs to be very precise, very steady to be able to handle any size of devices you can see here. So we're going to pick up one of the big ones and uh, I'm going to I'm going to show you right now how this is going to be done. So I'm going to move my motor up then I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to locate the part. I'm going to press my down button this is the down button and I'm going to press the switch for the suction you can hear the air working and then we can press the button up again and then we switch to the different motor and we move the device toward the left where we want the picked up part to drop. And this uh, will drop after all the suction is out of the hose. You can pick up, this is almost 0.8 ounces. So this is a very heavy part for uh, all the different applications that we usually do. You can see on this PCB board, how small some of the parts can be. So if one of these parts uh, was ready to be picked up because he had the wrong rotation, it was placed on the wrong spot, or it needed to be fixed because uh, any reason, then you could pick up any of these parts with the machine and replace them back with the machine or with your hands if you could do that. At that's the reason for this machine, to prevent people to use their hands to do this kind of stuff because of how delicate this job needs to be. There are different applications for move arm. Uh, one of them is uh, used in the surface mount technology lab, like in this case, you can see, that's one of the applications. Uh, it could be help for uh, a dentist that yeah, he needs to pick up parts somehow. Uh, there's probably 
some particulars that people don't feel pleasant picking up with their hands like in the dentist case again so this will be a perfect solution for them any mechanic in any uh, model shop or something like that could use it too uh, there is the whole structure is made of 8020 this one is 1.5 inch thick uh, it's a very strong very reliable material it's very light and very easy to work with uh, the company name is 8020 so you can uh, have this uh, any size of structure you can build any any structure with uh, this material and uh, it's available on the web and so this project generally combines many uh, techniques many applications you got electronic parts you got the mechanical parts this has been a very uh, good learning experience for me on my part all the research all the parts that I have to find making the combination of both of the mechanical and electronic technology together uh, to come up with this final product has been greatly important to me I've been learning so much since I started and I definitely recommend anyone that wants to get a little bit more into uh, motor controller or mechanical uh, technology to research a little more it's a lot more to learn and uh, I'm glad I chose this project because uh, it's been nothing but positive and encouraging learning from, from day one. Thank you very much.